Central Oregon's local alert weather with meteorologist Katie Suniga. Here's a look at a smoky sky off the outback lift line, something we have seen and are planning to see for at least another couple of days. In fact, we do have an air quality alert in place for Crook and Jefferson County. Nice smoky skies, and I say nice, not meaning they're wonderful, meaning that's what we have there off the Outback and off the Bend Airport. This one's looking south. Our air quality has decreased, and it's mainly been um, basically going down through Tumalo. We may even see a bit of a decrease showing up at Eagle Crest, the southern part of Redmond, and then the northeast parts of Bend. Not expecting things to get better for us tonight. In fact, you'll see in a moment they probably will decrease as we go into to the evening, but increasing specifically for the northern part of the region, which is why we're not seeing an air quality alert in Jefferson County. Here's a look at the satellite and radar image. You can see those showers that are moving off to the east. Nothing really happening for us cloud wise. Looks like it's a bit cloudy through the valley and out to the coast, as you would expect. We do have a trough coming through, bringing some cooler air. That's what's dropped our temperatures today. We're in those mid to upper 70s right now. This is about as warm as we have been, and this is below average by just a bit, not the end of the cooler temperatures. We still have a ways to go before we start warming back up again. The winds are 10 to 15 miles per hour, not too crazy and not expecting them to pick up much more than this. As the trough goes through, we usually see our winds picking up and nothing that is really enhancing or doing anything dangerous. If we were going to have really strong winds, we probably would be in a red flag warning right now. As this trough drops through and you see some cooler air here, that's when we start to see the wind slowing down. You look right here and you see all of this space showing that our winds are going to be more on the calm side, not expecting anything more than what we're seeing right now. Here's the current fires map, and this is just not what you want to see. We have all the colors of on the bar up here across this map with the heavier smoke right through here. The red, that's the indication of fires where the heat signatures are. And this is why we have the worst air quality in Lapine right now. And you see as we go into the evening, it does start to shift, but that is not the end of it. We clear up to the north. Things move out for just a bit. We could see just a slight clearing tomorrow morning, but then we start to see some smoke moving around. Hopefully, as this trough drops through, we clear. The bad news is that means that smoke is going somewhere else, and that is never nice. We want the fires to be out and the smoke to be gone and everybody to have clear air and just the few clouds that we could see on our future track. Not expecting too much activity here until we get into the weekend. You can see there's some rain sitting right there, making its way to the coast, maybe even getting on shore by Saturday or Sunday. Watching that keep you updated. Current temperature Temperatures just a little below average today. We drop down to right at maybe just a little below average tonight. With that temperature range, you're going to see us go from the mid 30s, maybe even low 30s for the higher elevations to those mid upper 40s. Then we have another cooler day tomorrow. We continue to drop a few degrees cooler there, but the big cool down that actually comes this weekend. You can see a few cooler days as we get to Friday, but look what happens Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We don't start warming up again until Tuesday next week.